Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're taking a look today at another tough drive from CalDigit. These are ruggedized external hard drives, and the reason why we're looking at another one is that this one is solid state, so this one should be uh, better at surviving falls, even if it's plugged in and operating, because there are no moving parts inside of it. Now, I do want to mention, in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge from CalDigit. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review, and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. All right, so let's take a closer look at the hardware now. This case is identical to the other tough drive that we looked at. Very simple, you just plug in your uh, USB cable here at the back and it will be powered by your computer. Uh, the carrying case that it comes with, a nice heavy plastic case, has two cables in the box. You get a USB Type-C to Type-C connector as well as a USB Type-C to regular USB 3 cable too. So you will be able to use this no matter what your computer has on board more than likely. Uh, this is an IP57 certified casing, which means that it can survive submerged underwater up to about a meter for 30 minutes or so and it's also dust proof so if you're going into environments where you want to make sure your production from the day's work uh, is safe and secure as you trudge through the jungle or something uh, this certainly will uh, provide you with a level of protection that has been tested and certified and I think if you're in a production environment uh, you probably want to play it safe versus building it yourself so that's why this costs $450 as you see it uh, this is a one terabyte SSD the SSD inside is a Samsung Evo drive it's an 850 EVO. I've used those drives, uh, smaller capacities in some of my production work, and they do work uh, quite well and are very reliable. So it was good to see them put that in there. So you're looking at about a $100 price premium on the casing. The drive by itself usually costs about uh, $350. It does have a USB 3.1 Gen 2 interface on this, which means its theoretical maximum speed is 10 gigabits per second. You won't see that speed out of the drive, but uh, there is a little bit more bandwidth for faster read speeds, as you'll see when we go through our performance testing here in just a second. So pretty rugged here. Uh, the rubber thing here can come off if you wish. I would suggest leaving it on, but uh, if you want to make the footprint a little smaller, you can do that. And again, having the solid state drive here really adds to the ruggedness because you can drop this thing and the drive uh, not having any moving parts will, I think, survive more falls than the mechanical version of this will. Now, given this is a solid state drive, it's going to be a lot faster than the mechanical version of this drive will be. So uh, we're seeing very fast write speed sustained at about 400 75 megabytes per second, give or take, and reads are typically over 500 megabytes per second. Having that uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2 gives us a little bit more bandwidth to play with, and I think that's why we're seeing read speeds around what we're seeing here. I don't typically see read speeds above 500 megabytes per second on uh, traditional USB 3 connections. So pretty good speed overall here, nice performance, and of course, uh, it's going to be rugged when you're out in the field. Now, the performance here is very good for transferring large files over, but if you're doing a lot of random them reads and writes I saw a bit of a disparity in that performance so check out the scores that I got on the crystal disk mark test 18.24 megabytes per second on random reads which is not too unusual for an external SSD like this one uh, but random writes were very slow 2.209 megabytes per second and I ran the test a couple of times just to make sure something wasn't off but uh, that's what I was getting so I'm not sure if there's something wrong with the test or how it uh, interfaces with the drive but uh, that score seemed a bit low to me but it does seem to do very well for large volume data transfers, which is what I think this drive is really designed to do. Uh, great for creators who are out in the field that have a lot of volume to uh, move off of a computer for backup, for example, and it will move that data very quickly, again, around 475 megabytes per second consistently, at least on our uh, Blackmagic speed test there. So I think for those purposes, it works as designed. It doesn't seem to do as well as a system drive, for example, but I think there are better choices for that. So I think if you are a creator like me and you're often finding yourself out in the field and you want a backup that will survive getting knocked around, uh, this one will certainly do so. In fact, it will do better than uh, the mechanical version of this because the drive inside has no moving parts, and that will certainly provide a lot more protection. It's actually pretty reasonably priced for what it is compared to some of the other ruggedized SSDs that are out there. So I think if you are in the market for something like this and want to have some assurance that it's going to be working as advertised without having to assemble it yourself, I think you'll do well here. This is pretty much hermetically sealed, so you can't get at the drive inside. So the drive that's in here is the one you will be uh, with for its the duration of its lifespan. But I think that's important for the dust and waterproofing of the device here. So that'll do it for the CalDigit Tough SSD. And this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger, Brian Miller, Mr. Morse, and Cody Falk. 
If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.